Hello YouTube viewers, welcome back to my channel. And uh, I'd like to start off by saying thank you to the folks that have contributed to my channel, to my uh, PayPal account. Uh, I don't like receiving charity, but it sure does come in handy during these trying times. And uh, I can't thank you enough for the folks that have taken the time to uh, make a donation. It really helps me. Thank you very much. The topic of this video is going to be on uh, preparation of silver cell electrolyte and uh, what I do is I put some pure silver crystal from a previous refining in a beaker and then I add distilled water to it and then slowly add small amounts of nitric acid until I get the uh, silver to dissolve. But when I first put the beaker on the heat with the silver in it and add the nitric acid, I get a very strange and unusual reaction. It turns uh, blue to a greenish color and uh, I begin to get concerned that maybe there's some contamination in my pure silver crystal. But come to find out, that's not the case. And uh, we're gonna look at a, some footage here. Be sure and look at the uh, description section of this video. I'm gonna put a link to the goldrefiningforum.com. It's where I learned everything that I know, other than my experience with actually doing these things. But everything that I know about refining, I learned on the Gold Refining Forum. I joined it back in 2010. And folks, I've got them written down here. I, I wish I could write everybody down that uh, was so helpful to me in uh, learning this uh, refining. Uh, Harold V. Butcher, Oz, a guy named OZ, his name was Dave, I used to talk to him on the phone. Laser Steve, Palladium, that's Ralph from Aquila Refining. He does toll refining, so get a hold of him if you want some stuff refined. Uh, there is uh, the Frugal Refiner. Uh, let's see who else, Four Metals. And there's so many more, I just can't uh, name them all off. But you folks, you see me, think I'm all that. Well, really and truly, I'm not all that. I learned everything that I know from those guys that I just mentioned off of the Gold Refining Forum. Two more quick topics that came up in the uh, comment section for the videos. Folks were wondering about my lab coats here and my daughter and son-in-law were kind enough to buy these lab coats for me with my name inscribed on them as a gift. And so I wear these coats to honor them. And that's why I wear them on my channel, number one. And number two, the copper. I, uh, I had a ring of copper up here that I got back in November. It was 50 foot long. It was copper strap about two inches wide and 22 thousandths of an inch thick. And I've been through all that, this is May. So that lasted me about six months in uh, using it to cement out silver out of silver nitrate solutions. And all the copper ends up in my waste treatment bucket and then I throw the copper away. There's no, it's contaminated with other metals and no scrap yard's gonna take it. Nobody wants it, can't even give it away. So I ended up just throwing it away. But I wanted to show you here, I've got another roll from a uh, HCNR guy. It's uh, copper tubing, three quarters of an inch thick. And what I'll do is I'll cut this apart and make about eight inch sections and use this for cementing uh, silver out of my silver nitrate solutions. And this amount of copper right here should last me well into the year 2021. So, uh, and I spent $50 on the copper strap and I spent $60 on this uh, copper tubing here. I think it's, what is it? 60 foot long, three quarter inch diameter. It's a thick wall. So it's gonna last a long time using it to uh, refine silver. And uh, with this cheap copper available, like this cheap, clean, beautiful copper to use for refining, there's just no need to spend the time to try to recover and refine the uh, copper out of my waste treatment bucket. Look closely at that beaker 
on the burner, you'll see that solution looks blue. And as the uh, reaction progresses here, it's going to start to clear up. This is footage. This is about an hour and a half footage speeded up to 30 seconds or so. And uh, by the end of the clip, you'll see that that solution will turn up and become crystal clear like water. Uh, when I first put that nitric acid in there, it turned a very deep, dark blue and then faded to a greenish color. And it led me to believe that there may be some contamination in my pure silver crystal. But in fact, what it really is, is that nitric forms some kind of a color change in there that occurs to turn it blue and green looking. And then uh, once the reaction is complete and that nitric gets consumed, then it clears up and becomes crystal clear like water. this is a short video this will conclude the video but I just wanted to point out that if somebody buys some of this silver crystal from me and then dissolves it in nitric acid and it turns blue or green on initial uh, contact with the nitric acid that's not an indication that we've got contamination the acid gets in there and it forms those color changes and then it goes away as the uh, nitric acid is consumed by the reaction. If we had contamination in that silver, then when we got done and all the nitric had been consumed, we could tell when that's done because there will be no more fume production. Uh, if we had copper in that silver, then the resulting silver nitrate solution would have a blue tint to it if there was palladium in there, then it would have a yellow tint to it. Or if there were both metals in the uh, end product there, uh, we'd have a bluish green tint. But as you can see in the video, uh, it started out as blue when we uh, first started the reaction. I wish I had thought to get the camera on it when it first started up. Man, it was really like a dark blue, man. It looked really... Uh, like there was contamination in there uh, but it started out as blue and then when we got done with the reaction it's crystal clear like water so uh, that, I hope that uh, helps uh, folks looking at that trying to dissolve some of this crystal and nitric and it turns blue when you first put that nitric in there do not be concerned you want to be concerned if when you get done with the reaction the resulting silver nitrate solution is a blue or green colored at the end of the process there that means you got contamination in that pure silver crystal so uh, that'll conclude the video thanks for watching